Hello friends, welcome back to Brain Techno. Welcome to my new and fresh vlog. Yes guys, your boy is back with another new and fresh video. You know this place, right? <laughs> you should know this place. If you have watched my Bissile Viewpoint video, you will definitely know about this place. If you haven't watched this video, I will leave the link in the description and also in the i button above. I will not go to tell uh, anything about this place because I have included everything in my first episode. So right now, me and Akshay, we are uh, heading towards Sakleshpur, I mean uh, the Malali Falls. So from here, it's about uh, 30 kilometers. So it takes around uh, half an hour of journey to reach to Malali Falls. So guys, we'll do it, we'll have fun and rest of the information I will be giving you on my way. So let's... So guys, uh, we are done uh, enjoying over here at the Bissile viewpoint. Let's uh, explore the jungle. We'll find uh, what it offers over there. So let's continue our journey from here. Yes, it was a lot of fun over here. And uh, now we have to go to the waterfalls. Then uh, we have to leave early because so uh, as it gets pitch dark over here in this jungle we cannot find we cannot see the road itself oh boy look at this view wow what a mesmerizing view man yeah, let's come back to the topic. Sorry for the interference. So, before reaching to the go to the stay, we will find this uh, road to the waterfall. And from this main road, again, it's around 15 kilometers. So, total 15 plus 15, it's uh, 30 kilometers. So, guys, oh boy, look, this is the lake and. Uh, some women are washing the clothes and uh, this is the ridge point where Arabian Sea and uh, Bay of uh, Bengal meets together wow it's nice so let's continue So, how many kilometers are right? Alla? Okay. So, right now we asked with the folk from here, we have to travel for around uh, 2 kilometers, then uh, we'll get a right over there. We have to take a right turn, and from there it's uh, Mandal, yes. Right now we are in the middle of the beautiful uh, coffee plantation. Ha! Ah, yes, you can uh, smell the aroma of the coffee plantation. This is uh, Somalpete Taluk, I think so, which comes in Kurg uh, district. So Kurg is one of the largest exporter of uh, coffee in the world itself. <laughs> so right now if you are uh, drinking coffee and watching my video then uh, the coffee beans has come from here guys gate and we have to pay 30 rupees as the entrance fees I'm going to tell you this oh no no I think uh, this is the parking area I think we have to stop over here and we have to walk to the waterfall ok 
let's park our bike over here. Yes. So look at that uh, stone over there and uh, over there is a cliff. <laughs> Don't ever uh, try to jump from there because I know you guys are too adventurous but uh, don't ever try to jump <laughs> and look at the waterfall man wow and as this is winter season the flow of water is uh, very less but it's very beautiful and it's clearly visible yeah and it's not misty so there is a lot to walk let's continue guys i will see you when when i reach to the bottom yeah i will go quick <sighs> so guys we are almost done and look at the beauty of the waterfall man and we were over there somewhere can you see that the rock I showed you and this is like the height of uh, 10 floors so it's not easy like uh, uh, getting down or climbing up the 10 floors this is much uh, difficult uh, difficult than that <sighs> Here's the gushing of the waterfall. Woo! This is mind blowing, man. I didn't expect in winter, in winter season there will be this much of water. And compared to the top from here, this is magnificent. And uh, here is the view for you guys. as I told you earlier and the nostalgia feeling when you come over here is out of the world I cannot explain you the best time to visit over here is monsoon because the thrilling experience the what we say the adrenaline feeling that you get it will be in monsoon so guys now we need at least 20 minutes of time to get back to the hilltop what the hell man getting down is easy climbing back I cannot tell you how tiring it is. So now the time is around 12.30 and we have to have lunch. After that, we are going back to Putu. So now it's time to say bye-bye to this very beautiful, very magnificent waterfall. Until then, love you waterfall! That's why everyone says Kuk is the Scotland of India. Hmm. So guys, let me tell you a small story and today I am vlogging the day after my ride and now the time is 4 in the afternoon and I am having coffee. <laughs> let me come closer to you guys because the bond between me and you is somewhat stronger. Let us make it more stronger. That's why I am coming closer to you. Yes. So let me tell you why I stopped vlogging and I directly jumped to home. So it was around 12 to 12.30 in the noon when I reached to Malali. Oh boy, <laughs> the view was thrilling from the top. You have seen guys, right? Yeah, you will agree with me. The view was thrilling, but the sun was incident on me and we were, we were sweating a lot like hell. We means me and Akshay. And we had to get down and climb up around 800 steps. I don't know exactly how many steps but approximately there are 800 steps and also they have constructed the new steps too and that made me more tiring and this is not a perfect time to visit Malali it is in monsoon but now if you want to experience the pleasant weather I mean the chilling 
uh, winter weather if you want to experience now this is the best time you can visit and also the stream of water flowing is less but it's much safer compared to monsoon if you are visiting in monsoon you can experience the splashing of water the thrilling and chilling uh, weather you will experience in monsoon and that is the best time now the weather is okay it's uh, pleasant i don't want to say it's cold it's pleasant and after that we didn't find a proper hotel over there that's why we had to rush back to Kodi Raste. it is six kilometers from Mallali so there we didn't find any proper hotel we had a puff and juice Whew. that made my hunger to calm down yes i was starving for food and there it made me calm down after that we came back to Putut so it was around 7 o'clock in the evening when we reached home that's it and i came back home i was exhausted i had show then i slept that's what happened and guys the total kilometer from putto it was around 247 kilometer the total distance we covered so if you are coming from manglo to bisley i think at 50 kilometers more mm -hmm, it may be around 300 kilometers from uh, Bisle to Malla is 30 km, so I can say it as for Mangalore around 350 km total overall kilometers you are going to cover. But one thing, take some snacks with you and also take some uh, drink, I mean around juice or anything you want you can take with you while going to that place. But keep the place clean because it's that beautiful. And Bisle is the must visit place and also the Mallali monsoon you keep it for monsoon if you want to visit it now at only one stretch you can go and have a look at that place and by the time when i upload this video i think i will be uh, completing the thousand subscribers i know guys how much you love me a lot and you are not my viewers you are not my subscribers you are my family that's why i call you as brain square it's a nice name right brain techno square and thank you for the love and support given to me because of you guys i am here and i am doing adventurous thrilling right yeah and also uh and also it's my honor to be here because it's my passion to be a motorcyclist motorcyclist right rider motorcyclist yeah it's proper name i think so it's my passion to be a rider that's why i travel and upload my videos and share with you guys so if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed be a part of my family i am in green square hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications because you will get all the notifications of my new video so this being said a day without laughter is a day wasted so keep on smiling keep all your worries everyone until next time bye bye see you love you guys i will be back with a fresh and new video again Bye-bye. Love you guys.